What's going on, everybody? All right, today I'm going to be making a cable uh, so I can use my RE320 microphone and plug it directly in to my Hermes Light 2 Plus. Okay, so first step is going from a studio mic that has an XLR, okay, and converting it to the 3.5 millimeter jack that's in the Hermes Light 2 Plus. Okay, and then we're going to add a uh, uh, hand keyer in. You could use a foot switch, but me personally, I like to have a hand keyer. Some people don't mind uh, clicking on the screen to key the radio up, or they do a little space bar thing. Me personally, I like to have a, uh, a hand keyer. So that's what we're going to do. And this has to be modified, because if you were to plug, modify uh, the plug and plug it straight into the Hermes Light 2 Plus, just because the way everything is, it will put the radio instantly in a transmit. So you have to do this modification. All this information is on that Hermes Light 2 Plus page. So, all right, a few steps here. First of all, we're gonna get an old cable, an XLR cable. I'm gonna cut off the end, which I did already, and strip the wires. So that comes from the XLR. That's what it looks like when you get it stripped. See that fabric on there that, that adds strength to the cable? I gotta cut that off. Okay. And I did the continuity test so I know which pins are which wire. Okay, so there's that. So we're coming out, we're gonna bond pins one and three together. These wires, we're gonna pigtail them together. Okay, now going over here, <clears throat> same thing over here. I took an old uh, a cord I wasn't using anymore. I cut off the uh, wire and I stripped it. Okay, so the tip, once again, I did a continuity test so I know which wires are which. The tip is going to pretty much go, well, it is going to go directly over to pin two. Okay, now the sleeve of that, I'm going to come over here and get to our common point of pins one and three. Super simple so far. And the ring from the 3.5 millimeter is going to come out and go down to a switch, uh, the switch, back in to the same common point. Well, that's it. All right, let's go over to the bench and uh, I'll show you this laid out. I'll try to lay it out on the bench exactly how it looks in the picture here of the schematic. All right, let's go over to the bench. All right, here we go. Okay, the first step, I took that uh, XLR cable. Remember I showed you over there? That's how it looks. And what I did was I had the bond pins one and three so it shows up here. Pin one is brown bare wire, and pin three is that white wire. Okay, so let's move that out of the way. And that's what I'm left with right there. All right, so right here is a common point with pin one and pin three. Okay, common point. Okay, over here is my 3.5 millimeter jack. Just gonna come over to here. Once again, here's a tip. That's that sleeve. And here's the ring. Okay. So the tip is going to go right over to the red, red wire here. Which is, your, which is the... Uh, oh, man, I'll leave my end drawing here, which is the audio. The sleeve is going to come over to this common point. And then the ring is going to go out to a switch. It's going to go out to my switch. Back out of the switch, up through here. And right here, also this common point. Well, that's it. All right, I'm going to get these all soldered up. It's not going to be pretty, guys. <laughs> it's not meant to be. We're just having a little fun here. And I already have that solder. So, all right, I'll get to this. And, uh, yeah, hopefully it'll work. All right, there it is. As embarrassing as this is, all super simple. This is just a proving stage of this. So, uh, yeah, I prove this, you know, works and everything. Then I can go back through and make, you know, keep the same electrical connections, but put them somewhere else or make this a whole lot, a whole lot nicer. So, there it is. Yeah, audio. Yeah, just how it was laid out. I saw it exactly the way it is. Yeah, audio to audio. And here's that, uh, over here is that uh, common point of pins one and three of the XLR. And then here's the uh, that uh, sleeve from over here. It comes over to the common point. And of course the ring goes out and back up to the common point. That's it. So, of course I forgot to put the heat shrink on this before I... <laughs> so it's all together. So let's get the old electrical tape on and wrap it all up. So what I might do is I might fold this over here, take this, fold it over there. I don't know, I'll figure it out. I can put it back together. But uh, next is the switch. So I got my switch. I'm gonna put it on the other end. I'm gonna get a little creative here of how to uh, put this switch into something. But all right, give me a second. <laughs> okay, there we go. Got that uh, all bodged up and taped up. It's all nice and safe. So this switch right here, I got this tacked in. I thought, huh, oh, what are we going to put that in? I thought, this size switch, it looks like that would fit right down inside of a half-inch uh, copper pipe. Yeah, that's what I did. <laughs> so I got this. Of course, I cut this and I deburred it. So what are we going to do here? Try to do this one hand. It'll fit right down in there. 
There we go, little hand cure. Maybe I'll glue that in or something just to hold it in. Like I said, this is a little prototype, but there you go, thumb cure. All right, let me, uh, yeah, let me let me secure this. I'll probably, maybe I'll put a little bit of tape on here. That so doesn't show a copper yet. Not the best to be using your electrical connections. <laughs> Having fun here. I'll just put a little bit of tape on there. But, uh, all right, let me get this uh, put in place and we'll get this all hooked up. Okay, here we go. It's proving time. Okay, we got my RE320 microphone and it goes into uh, that whole mess I made here. And the one end, the 3.5 millimeter, is going right into the mic input. Okay, and then here's my hand here, right here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and key up. Right now, for bleeps and giggles, I have my station A on. So we're going to be, uh, of course, keying up on station B. We're going to key up, and you're going to uh, you're going to hear the receiver. You're going to hear a little bit of echo in there, but uh, we're just testing. Okay, you're going to see it keys up. There it is. There it is. And, and we have, we have audio. audio. Check. Check. One. 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 <laughs> there it is. Not bad for some uh, redneck engineering. So, yeah. Hello. Hello. Okay. Now that I prove this later on, if I need, you know, if need be, I can come back and make a much uh, nicer version of this. I kind of just whip this all together. But, uh, yeah, it is proved and it is working. All right, guys. All right, guys. I'm going to get out of here. KP68, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, free and clear.